how are you? If you are here for the first time, welcome. My name is Kathy. This is my puppy Coco and it's my DIY channel. We do a lot of fun projects on a budget here. So if you like to save money and do some crafts, hit the subscribe button and automatically become our bestie. <laughs> In today's video, I'm bringing to you the newest Dollar Tree reform. Ta-da! Did you see this one yet? It's a football. Let's see what we can do with it. We're gonna have so much fun, right, Coco? Let's get started. So you're gonna need the football reform from the Dollar Tree. Here's the code. If you cannot find it in your store, you can order online. In addition, you're gonna need four packs of this mesh tube that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I'm very excited that they bring it this year in the color of burlap. How cute is that? You can also use nautical rope if you prefer. The only thing is that it used to be in 13 feet long and now I noticed that they sell it only at nine and a half feet long. The mesh tubing on the other hand, I think it's like 15 feet. You might've seen my Dollar Tree cross reef. I had used the rope on that form and it came out beautiful. To decorate your football wreath, you might want to use some ribbon. I found the football ribbon at Hobby Lobby. In addition, you're going to need this white rope. I call it like a shoelace. So if you have white shoelace from Dollar Tree, that would work too. In addition, I got these NFL letters. I found them at Hobby Lobby in the clearance section for only 32 cents. Another great option would be to have your favorite team's logo. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any in the store and I wanted to get this out to you. So my next football will be New York Giants. Please comment down below and let me know what is your favorite football team. Our local team is Giants and I always been a fan. And not everyone knows that their stadium is actually here in New Jersey. All right, let's start weaving. We're gonna put one end of the mesh tubing at the very tip of the football. And then we're gonna take the other end and pass it through all the rails up and down. When done, you push it all the way down to that corner. It's a little bit tight at the beginning. And then of course you have to take the rope all the way down to the other side. In the beginning, it takes a while. Uh, but, you know, as you keep weaving, that rope is going to get shorter and um, it's not going to take as much time. <laughs> so once you have your rope on the other side, you pass it under the first rail and again, up and down, all the way down to the other side. Here's a look at the first two rows. Uh, you're going to notice that the mesh tube is getting flat as we squeeze it through the rails. All right, and we're gonna continue weaving back and forth all the way down. <laughs> it's actually very relaxing, so just turn on your favorite music and keep going. Here I wanna show you that I'm reaching the end of the first section, and it's gonna be tighter uh, to pass the rope through. So you might have to just push it down and squeeze in an extra row or two. Looking very cute, right? Um, I think I can squeeze in one more row. All right, I think it's very nice and full. And now we can just start the next section. And you see, I just continue weaving up and down to the other side. And as you can see, the rope now is short and it's going very fast. Also, the spacing between the railings is larger, so it makes it very easy to pass the rope. And here I am reaching the end of the first rope. Mm -hmm. 
That's it. I'm just going to tie it down over there and take care of it later. So this is how much we got done with one pack. Pretty good, right? And um, here's the end. We later going to glue it under. We're going to start off with, with the new one. And we put this row under, over, under, over, and so on to the other side. You always have to do opposite what was in the row before. And continue weaving all the way through. All right, so we just finished the second section and reached the end of the second pack. This is how much you get done with two. Pretty amazing. I'm loving this. And here I am starting with a new pack. And uh, since the last uh, rope was under, so I'm starting over, under, over, under, all the way down. Always the opposite of the last row. You will see, as you start weaving, you will easily figure this out. As you are going to be weaving the second part of the bow, you're going to notice that your rope will tend to slide down. So just use your second hand uh, to keep pushing that rope back. And here's the end of my third rope. And I'm just going to leave it here, take care of it later. Pretty cool, right? We're getting there. One more. <laughs> All right, so that end was over, right? You can see that. And we're going to start with the new one under. Under, over, under, over, all the way to the other side. We continue weaving and pushing back the rope. The closer I get to the tip, the more the rope is sliding. Uh, so I decide to use just a tiny bit of hot glue here and there to hold back my ropes. So if you want to make your life easier, here's my suggestion. <laughs> you know how we did the first half of the bow, the first two sections, from the tip up, right, to half of the bow. Then your rope is going to end anyway. And you don't continue going down like I did. You start at the second tip and continue going up. That way you won't deal with this issue here. So you live and learn, but that's why you got me, right? <laughs> I experiment and then I give you my tips and make it a little bit easier for you, hopefully. <laughs> Yes, so you see, it would have been much easier if I did it from the tip up because I wasn't dealing with that at all when I did the first half of the bow. But lesson learned, next time it's going to be easier. <laughs>
All right, we're reaching the finish line here, finally. So as you can see, I still have a little bit of the wire showing here. Let me just push this back a little bit. So I'm just continue squeezing my rope through there to cover up that wire. We don't want any wire showing. Right, I think it's gonna be it. Look at that beautifully finished edge. So there is a silver lining after all, because the other side is not finished like that. So we're gonna go back and fix that in a minute, but first let's cut off the remainder and glue under all the ends that are hanging and let's finish this up. When you're gonna finish your bowl, you're gonna notice uh, that the divider bars that are in between each section going across, they're still kind of visible. So I'm just gonna use an extra rope to cover them up. And please excuse me, I keep calling it rope. It is mesh tubing. Much better, right? Let me cover this one now. You glue and stretch your tubing and you won't even be able to tell that it was added there afterwards. Beautiful. Let's do one more. You see, that's pretty neat. You cannot even tell where the divider bars were. And the only thing left now to do is just that tip because we finished that one and this one is still exposed. When I was starting, I left off that piece of rope. So I'm going to use it now to cover that wire. Of course, it's not going to be enough, but I'm going to go a couple times over it. All right, now it's so short, I'm just going to glue it under. And take a piece of additional rope and just finish off that edge. All right, we are done. 
I'm loving this so much, yet my husband says that it looks like a pistachio shell. <laughs> Let's decorate it so it doesn't look like it. And this is how much I have left from four packs of mesh tubing. Let's see what we can do with the shoelace rope. As you can see, I'm working on the lacing and here I cut additional strips of about four inches long that I'm gonna insert across. I am just inserting in between the ropes and then pulling from underneath and doing the same thing on the other side. Okay, I think it's starting to look like a football. No more pistachio shell. <laughs> now I am going to glue all those little pieces. Every football needs an NFL stamp, yes? <laughs> Let's glue our letters. These are actually iron on, but I'm just gonna use my hot glue. Okay, my son sold the bowl and he suggested that I should make it a little darker. I do have this brown paint and I decide to just dry brush it a little bit. I know it's a little bit late for that. I should have done that before doing all the embellishments, but you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Of course, this is an optional step, especially if you're gonna put your football outdoors. I don't recommend painting with the, just a regular acrylic paint but mine is gonna be inside on the cover porch, so it's okay. Next, I am cutting 24 inches of ribbon to hang our bowl. Of course, there's different ways of doing it, but I decide to hang mine at an angle. Let's see how we can do this. I'm going to do one strip longer and one shorter, like so. I'm gonna actually use my safety pins because uh, I might have to adjust the ribbons to make sure I get the right angle. So safety pins are a great option. I'm gonna use them on the inside as well. All right, the ball hangs at an angle like I wanted to but I'm a little bit disappointed because I do not really see my NFL letters that well. Let's finish that bow and I'm gonna think how to fix it. So I am just measuring about 10 inch tail pinching, measuring another 10 inches folding in half to create the first loop, 10 inches second loop at the bottom pinching, and one more set of loops, 10 inches, fold it in half, pinch it, one more, and let's do one more tail. And as you can see, my ribbon is not wired. I know it is such a bummer, but I couldn't find any football ribbon in the Hobby Lobby or any store, actually, I went to Walmart and I don't have AC more anymore because they closed that one down. But you know what? We're gonna make it work. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> so uh, let's see. As you can see, I tie down that ribbon in the middle and now I'm just gonna fluff it up. Yeah, not easy without the wire. <laughs> Here's my leftover tubing, so I'm just gonna make a shoelace bow out of that as well. Tie it on top.
let's cut the fish tails. Here is our bow, cute but a little bit flimsy, so let's add some burlap ribbon to it. Simple two-loop bow, uh, just a bit maybe larger than the one that we have, so it would stick out from underneath. Also, it's wired, so it's going to give the bow support. All right, much better. A sporty bow, <laughs> more casual. <laughs> Hi, Coco. Where's your sporty bow? You don't match today. Actually, Coco is giving away a hint to you guys. <laughs> we have one more idea for you with the football reef form. And yes, it's going to be yellow. But since this video is taking a bit longer, I decided to do part two. So there's going to be a second version of the reef form in the next video, okay guys? We're gonna post it on Wednesday. Going back to the football, it really bothered me that you couldn't see those NFL letters. So this is what I did. <laughs> I didn't make a recording because I was just upset. I ripped it out. <laughs> I moved up the lacing a little bit higher and I moved up the letters. Now, even though it's not in the center, it's on your eye level and it's much better that way. So another lesson learned and suggestion for you, when you decorate your reef, you hang it vertically and then you add your embellishments. <laughs> it is a cute reef after all, yes? <laughs> well, it needs a cherry on the top. Let's see what we can do. I have these chalkboard tags, a printout from Google, which I can email you if you like. I'm gonna also post it on my Facebook and some cute little buttons from Walmart. <laughs> I transferred the printout on chalkboard and I think most of you know how I do it, right? If not, I'm gonna link a video for you uh, in the description box because I don't want to extend this video any longer. And I glue that cute little football button there and it's football and fall, yo! <laughs> I love that theme and I actually decorated the whole porch with it. If you haven't seen that video, it's going to be down in the description box. Let me just attach that tag over here around the bow. And I think we are almost done here. <laughs> it's looking so stinking cute, doesn't it? I have some embellishments here from the Dollar Tree and I think they're just gonna take this reef to another level. Let's do this real quick. I'm gonna leave the pumpkins out this time because I think they take away, but take a look at this. Alright my besties, this is it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you're gonna know when I'm back here with a new video. Take care guys, see you next time. Bye bye!